Army Sergeant Brianna Winninger, the youngest soldier at the scene, participates in the ceremonial cutting of the Army birthday cake. The Army is celebrating its 240th this week. We'll have more from Fort Meade's ceremony in a moment. Also on this edition, local leaders reaffirm their pledge to Fort Meade. MWR is hiring commissary baggers and the latest from TRICARE TV. These stories and more, but first, Four years ago, local civic business and political leaders established the Fort Meade Community Covenant. The covenant is basically a pledge from the community to work with Fort Meade as much as possible to the entire community's benefit. On Monday, leaders met again to reaffirm that pledge. Guest speakers included 2015 Covenant Council Chairman Linda Green and Congressman John Sarbanes. We are one voice for Fort Meade, united in our support for this very important and unique installation. We will pledge today to promote and support this installation. For some, we're renewing a pledge that we signed for the first time about four years ago. Everyone has encouraged Team Meade, the this, this term coined by Senator Barbara Mikulski. Now more formally established, we meet our mission by working together and meeting monthly. For Fort Meade to continue successfully meeting and executing its 21st century mission, we must continue to develop 21st century partnerships. Mutually beneficial partnerships that allow us to gain maximum efficiency and productivity out of every available dollar and hour of time and resource that we have. Just because there are incredible assets that are located here, that are gathered in one place, doesn't mean you're always going to get the result that you seek or hope for. It takes people who are going to step up and put their shoulder to the wheel and work every single day uh, to keep a conversation going, to make sure that decisions are made um, in an open and engaged way uh, and that bring in the full community. That's what this covenant has represented from the very uh, beginning. And that's what the council does uniquely in the country, is to meet on a regular basis and process all of the information and input and expectation that comes from people on base and off base about what the true potential of Fort Meade and the surrounding community can be. In other news, the Army is celebrating its 240th birthday this week. Fort Meade's annual celebration, sponsored by the local chapter of AUSA, featured guest speaker Lieutenant Colonel Alfred Rascon, who received the Medal of Honor for his actions in 1966 in Vietnam. During my age, in the 60s as a young kid, I had the displeasure of seeing people of color, people of Hispanic heritage as myself, who were treated like crap. At the same time, I had the privilege of seeing how the military had changed and got on to itself and left everything behind you. I tell everybody, immigrant by birth, American by choice. And that's what I am. What I have now and what I've had for the last 69 years has all been due to this country giving me the pleasure of being here. Meanwhile, next Monday, June 22nd, MWR will be accepting applications for 30 bagger positions at the commissary. The jobs are open to family members of active duty military between 15 and 19 years old. Once again, the applications will be processed on June 22nd from 9 a.m. to noon at Club Mead. Applicants must come in person and must present a valid military dependent ID card and proof of social security. For more information, you can go to www.ftmeadmwr.com. Another reminder from MWR, the Bowie Bay Sox at Orioles Farm Team is hosting Fort Meade night on Friday night, June 19th. The game starts at 6.35 p.m. with fireworks after the game. Tickets are free for active, retired, and civilian personnel. You can pick up your free tickets at Leisure Travel Services over on Wilson Street. One more note, tickets must be picked up in advance. None will be issued at the game. And finally on this edition, TRICARE TV offers this short primer on the Retiree Dental Care Program. Today we'll give you an overview of TRICARE's Retiree Dental Program, or TRDP. TRDP is a voluntary program for retirees, family members of retirees, Medal of Honor recipients, and survivors. Beneficiaries can enroll in TRDP online or by mail. Premiums are based on your zip code and the number of family members you enroll. Enrollees pay 100% of their TRDP premiums, and premiums must be paid by electronic funds transfer, retired pay allotment, or recurrent credit card charge. For plan-specific information, visit trdp.org. 
And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.